Hey everybody, Jeremy here with the Practical IT Channel. Today we're going to look at getting Elma Linux installed on Proxmox VE 7.3 and we're going to go over one potential problem that you might run into if you are doing this. Let's get started. All right, so we'll start our virtual machine and 15,007 is fine. We're gonna call this Alma Linux and the ISO is there. System, I'm gonna leave that alone. Disks, we're gonna put this on PVE01 store. SSD emulation, CPU, we're going to give this four cores and memory, eight gigs, network is fine at the defaults and we're going to go ahead and start this and I'm doing it this way on purpose to show you a problem. Take a look at console and it gets to the initial screen just fine. And if it does what it did a couple of days ago, it's going to error. And we'll, I'll show you a workaround for that. Okay. Kernel panic, not syncing, attend attempted to kill init exit code blah 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 okay so we're going to stop this say yes we're going to come back to hardware and we're going to come to processors now the workaround i found for this is instead of doing the default kvm processor we're going to use host And with a little luck, we come back here and restart the machine. It should boot just fine. And we are doing a minimal install of Elma Linux 9.1. So this should just give us our server components with no GUI, which is what we're wanting so that we can do some other things to build on this going forward. All right, starting installer. So already we've gotten further in the install process than what we had before. Okay, so we've got our normal installer. English is what we want. Installation destination, we've only got the one disk. Okay, that's good. Root password. And the user account. We are going to make this an administrator. And done. And America, Detroit, that's fine. Software selection. And do security tools, system tools, network servers. And do 
don't think we need development tools, but let's do that anyways for the sake of argument. And begin installation. And now we wait. I'll be back in a few moments. All right, it looks like we are installed and we can reboot the system. That was actually a fairly quick install, so we'll see what we've got to work with. So the acid test here is to get the IP address. That's 113. Bring over the terminal. And we are in. So, um, sudo yum install neofetch and htop. So, it's like everything is going the way we want. Okay. No NeoFetch. No HTOP. All right, no harm, no foul. Uh, we are looking good here. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut this down. And now that it's shut down, we're going to go ahead and Take a snapshot. Okay, so we've got that done. I'm going to start it back up one more time and we're going to run updates and then we should be in good shape for our future endeavors playing with Alma Linux. Okay, there's a bunch of things to update. This should be over momentarily. And we should be in good shape to go. nothing to do so we're we're in good shape all right so that was walking through the install of Elma Linux we worked around a problem that exists with the installer in combination with Proxmox and we got it installed and updated we tested it to verify that the SSH server is running and we can connect to it from an from a different machine and so we're ready to go with our next step. All right, so until next time, thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and leave me some comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.